Hey everybody, Douglas Blair Roberts here, the Super Vader 400 here, and of course, the brown skinned human here back for another video. And this time, this is my second review of the 2019 Shazam movie. With every movie I do, I pretty much do two reviews because there's always the very first review which is based on my very first viewing of said, um, of said movie. Then, um, then, um, there's the second, um, then there's the, um, then there's the first, in the first review, it's hard to tell, um, it's hard to keep track of everything and point out every flaw and talk about everything we liked about the film because there's so much excitement, so much excitement, and so much happening in front of me. So I have to watch it a second, third, fourth, and fifth, and how many other other times to find the flaws and other stuff, and other stuff about the film, and talk about the stuff that I forgot to mention in part one. So that's what we will be doing here in um, part two. This is pretty much almost the same as my last one, except. My last one had my last one had a di had different outro and intro on theme songs. So with that being said, let's get started right now. If you have a problem with this, it really doesn't matter what you think. Back. 
everybody. Um, this is part two of my review of the 2019 film Shazam. Like I said in part one, this film right here was everything. This film right here was everything I um expected it to be. Actually, no, it actually exceeded my expectations or what I expected of this um, movie right here. I knew this movie was going to be good, but I didn't think it'd be this good. Like I said, if I want, I'm going to start off with um, the storyline, characters, characters, what I liked about the film, and what I didn't like about the film, and what I want to see more of the film in the future. In the future, like I said, the, the, um, like I said if I, uh, according to Wikipedia, the film starts off in... Um, in um, 1974 in New York, where a young, the Dios, the Dios Savannah is traveling with his father and brother, and is here, um, the Dios accidentally, acc is accidentally transported to a, um, to the Rock of Eternity, Rock of Eternity, an ancient temple located in a, um, alternate um, dimension. It is here that he meets the um, ancient wizard played by Digimon Hanzo. Hanzo, um, Shazam. Shazam, who is looking for a new champion. At first, at first, um, Savannah appears to be worthy. Then he becomes tempted by a bunch of demons who tell him he is unworthy. He is unworthy. He is unworthy. And, um, and, um, and and the ancient wizard not wanting not um, warning him that the previous champion was consumed by revenge and accidentally released the seven deadly sins onto the world onto the world rejects him not wanting to repeat that mistake again back in the, back in the present Savannah tries to explain to his father and brother what just happened that the, what just happened they don't believe him the father box him calling him a little shit and this accidentally called this the um, car accident where the father gets severely injured and the brother blames the father and the brother blames the older brother blames the young Savannah for this we didn't cut to um, present day we didn't cut the present day we didn't cut the present day to Billy's story but before I get the Billy story I'm going to continue with um, I'm going to continue with Savannah's I'm going to continue with Savannah's storyline Savannah, he, he, um, in the present day, he meets back up with his, um, in the present day, he meets back up with his, um, father and brother, who are now both heads of a, um, of a popular, of a, um, of their own, um, company, of their own company. It is here that, um, he murders both his brother and father and the entire board of directors. He, he tosses his brother out of a window, out of a window, and he murders his father and the entire board members with a bunch of, um, demons in one of the scariest and creepiest scenes in the entire movie. We are then, and then it is here where... Savannah's story, storyline, storyline, present day storyline officially begins where they warn him that, um, that the ancient wizard, that the ancient wizard, um, that the ancient wizard has found a new champion, has found a new champion, and the demons instruct Savannah to kill his champion before he figures out his, his real purpose, his actual, um, purpose, so then Savannah has a new mission to, to, to seek out to obtain, to obtain the new champion's power and kill him, kill him. We did introduce to Billy's story, who is a, um, who is an orphan living on the streets, who is an orphan living on the streets causing all sorts of mischief such as um, trapping a couple of um, police officers inside of a building and is running from foster home from foster home. He is then put into a, um, he is then put into a, um, with foster home in, um, foster home run by, foster home run by Victor and Rosetta Rosa 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 Vaquez with five other children, Mary um Mary Broomfield the oldest who's 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 taking care of them and, and can't decide and who and is looking for a college to get into, 
Pedro Pena, uh, the Hispanic guy who appears not to care about anything. It doesn't show much personality. Eugene um, Choi, Eugene Choi, a, a Asian video game video game enthusiast and tech tech guy. Darla Dudley, a young brown African American girl, and um, young brown naive African American girl, and of course um, the superhero enthusiast himself, Freddie Freeman, a um, disabled who walks with a cane, who walks with a um, cane. Um, meanwhile, while protecting Freddie from a couple of bullies from a couple of bullies at school and running from those bullies being chased into a subway Shazam summons Shazam um, B Shazam summons Billy as the new champion and he tells Billy and he tells Billy to, to, to take hold of his staff and call out the name at first Billy at first Billy um, laughs at him not um, thinking the guy is pulling his leg and is insane but um, the wizard assures him that he is not playing until and he and angrily instructs him to do the task to, to do the task he just commanded him. Put his hand on the staff and say, Shazam. He does this and is transformed into a superpower superhero, a superpower adult superhero in Shazam. Shazam. And it is right here. It is right here where the story where the storyline officially um begins. Um, Shazam then meets back up with Billy. First he proves to Billy that he that he is still I mean he proves to Freddy. He meets back with Freddy and proves to Freddy that he's still Freddy by by um having Freddy by by proving by, by showing Freddy his stolen bullet, which Freddy accused him of stealing of earlier in the film. In the film and um and then it is here where um they try to figure out his power. They try to figure out his power, and and they figure out that he has superhuman strength and lightning-based powers and increased speed. Increase um increased speed. It is where they have increased speed. Later, doing a robbery attempt, doing a robbery attempt where they where they where, they, where um Shazam tries to purchase all the beer they have, all the beer in the store. Um, um, a couple of robbers come in, they shoot him with bullets, and he figures out and he figures out he is bulletproof in the face and body, and immediately beats up beats up the bullets by knocking them out the window. They all they go around causing all sorts of um mischief, such as um um such as um, taking money, um sabotaging machine to take money out of a bank, sabotaging a vendor machine which throws a bunch of soda at them. Throws a bunch of soda at them, playing a prank on a security um, officer at school. Where right here the story officially begins. Billy, um, Freddy becomes arrogant and brags to the to, to, to his two bullies in the entire school that he is friends with the new with the new Shazam superhero um, guy with the with the new superhero Shazam. They don't believe him. They don't believe him, and they don't believe him. And um, Freddy instructs. She instructs Billy to show up, to show up there, proving them all wrong. Billy instead gets distracted by, by once again performing, um, performing miracles, in the, performing miracles in the street, performing miracles in the street for money, for all money such as lightning with his hands, lightning with his hands, doing thunder in the sky, doing thunder in the sky while singing "Eye of the Tiger." While seeing the eye of the tiger, it is here where Freddy shows up, angry, angry at um, angry at um Billy kicking over his um boombox, kicking over his boombox and asking him, "Where were you? Where were you?" And Billy says, um, and Billy says, um, he was busy. He was busy. Um, he was busy lightning with his hands, lightning with his hands. Freddy angrily tells him that at lunch today, the people he wasn't there. The people gave him a um what you call a suitcase wedgie a suitcase wedgie gave him what is left of his um gave, gave him what is left of his underwear and gave him what is left of his underwear he then um he then criticized him tells him that he is not a um that he is not a superhero he is a um bully instead um and that he's let the superhero stuff go to his head and then um and then Shazam was like look at what I can do lightning lightning with my hands lightning with my hands and he does that again and accidentally accidentally um 
accidentally flattens a tire, causing a bus to nearly crash it and go off a cliff. He barely saves, he barely saves everyone. He barely saves everyone. And Freddy criticizes, telling them how he's a superhero, but he just endangered, he just endangered those people. Now he's become a show off and a bully. And um, they get into an argument. And Freddy says. Freddie said, and, and, Fre and Billy, and Billy says, Freddie, you wish it was me, and Freddie's like, no crap, I do, no shit, I do wish it was me, but, um, do wish it was me, and then just, um, angrily walks off, but everyone on the news witnesses and is here where the kids deduce that, deduce the identity that, um, that, um, Billy is Shazam, Billy is Shazam, so, um, yeah, um, um, it is here where Savannah comes face to face with Shazam and beats the living daylight side of him. Beats the living daylight side of him, causing Shazam to run his tail between his legs. It is then here where um, Savannah he tries to lure Shazam out by um, kidnapping Freddy, who he saw talking with Shazam and threatening um, his family. He catches up with him and he threatens. Um, Shazam, he threatens Shazam, tells him to um, surrender the power, surrender the power, or the um, family, um, the family um, dies, the family dies. Freddy and the family convince him not to give up the power and, and, ask, and try to fight them on their own by throwing stuff at them. They accidentally cut him, they accidentally cut him, which Shazam takes notice of, which Billy takes notice of, and uses a giant Batman toy thingy to cut the cut what you call his bald head open again, knowing that's one of his um weaknesses. And after a huge fight that spills into a um amusement park, amusement park, um, um Billy discovers that his family is worthy and has him touch all touch the staff and say Shazam and they all turn into adult superheroes and defeat the seven death fight and defeat the seven deadly sins. Defeat fight the defeat the seven of sins while Billy continues his fight with um, Savannah all over the city. All over the city. Um, Billy defeats Savannah by calling out all the deadly all of the deadly sins, including the last one that was hidden, such as Envy. Whereas Savannah, of course, was Envy that Billy, Billy, an asshole, a coward, was chosen was was chosen as champion over him that he was deemed unworthy. It is here where Savannah loses all of his power and accidentally falls off a cliff. But Shazam saves him and rounds and him and his family rounds up all the demons, returns them to their statues, returns to their statues and places Savannah in prison. Places Savannah um, in prison, and the film ends with Freddy eating alone. But it's revealed. But his family shows up, shows up at his lunch table, wanting to eat with him, wanting to eat with him, wanting to eat with him. He has you all have different lunch periods. How is this possible? How is this possible? And out of nowhere, what's the other guy's name? Out of nowhere, um, Superman and Shazam show up. Superman and Shazam show up. Superman and Shazam. Out of nowhere, Superman and Shazam. Superman and Shazam show up to the amazement of the crowd, and the film ends there with Ramon's I Don't Want to Grow Up. Like I said, an awesome film. This film was even better than I thought it was going to be. And alongside Aquaman, Batman v Superman, and Wonder Woman, in my opinion, is, some, is the best of the, is one of the best films in the DC. Is the best film in the DCU, and is one of the best superhero films of all time. And already one of my best films of 2019. Even better story and script wise. Than then, um, then Avengers Endgame, but Avengers Endgame spectacle, spectacle, and act cast wise was way better than this film. I liked all the characters um, in this film, and I love all the actors. I only recognize a couple of actors such as Mark Strong, Digimon Hanzo, and um, a couple of voice actors like Steve Bloom and the motion capture um, Zach Levy and the motion capture actors. Also, um, what you call it, with the motion capture actors, Mark Strong, and all of the adult actors, the adult superhero alter ego actors being my favorite actors in the um, in the um, movie, movie, and um, yeah, oh um, yeah, and and I love how they totally redid Doctor Savannah in this film. In the film, he is a weak scientist with telepathic with telepathic powers, 
and other powers like being able to walk through walls and stuff and sense and, and sense magic with his and sense magic with his eye but he's a weak scientist who gets spoiled by shazam and his family all the time in the comics here he was a champion just like shazam except except not only did he have all of shazam's powers he had the, he had his own power to control to control demon to control the demons he was consumed by the seven deadly um sins the seven deadly sins sins so um so yeah this film um, when it comes to modernization realism and spectacle is way better than its comic books but comic books because of the number of issues was way um better was um way better the film was a cross between shazam dc comics dc comics Mor mortal kombat mortal kombat and all of those classic horror movies and demon movies like underworld and i frankenstein of the uh past that's what this movie that's what this um entire movie um that's what this entire movie reminded me of it was um it was it was awesome man like i said this film was action-packed comedic action-packed hilarious and downright creepy especially the death scenes especially that board meeting death from the beginning and the um cool demons man the cool demons so um yeah and they captured the tone and the spirit of the shazam um comic books and once again just like with aquaman going into this film years ago before seeing the trailer of shazam i thought shazam would be one of the worst films of the dceu because this film was supposed to be not be in the dceu it will be produced by warner brothers but it will be a film onto itself not part of the dc i'm like no that that's stupid shazam is part of the dceu and i'm glad they recognized um i'm glad they um changed that changed that changed that but this is one of the best alongside aquaman and alongside aquaman this is one of the films to save the dceu who knew it would be aquaman and shazam to save all um, the dce to save the um dceu but they did but um but um but they did and it like i said it was awesome um like i said um it was um it was awesome um yeah i like i liked everything about this um film the only thing i didn't like was one minor plot hole in the beginning when the seven deadly sins uh, uh, um command savannah to destroy the real champion um why don't instead of trying to obtain the guy's power for himself instead of trying to power for himself which i guess this is the green sin why don't he just kill the champion and take the power himself take the power of himself or just kill the champion or prevent anyone from having the power instead he gave shazelle he gave billy ample time to discover that his families were also worthy were also worthy and have them place their hand on the rock of all um, on the on the on the staff and say shazam and making them super um superheroes making them superheroes that's the only problem i had and speaking of mortal kombat there was there was lots of mortal kombat and street fighter references from um troy the asian who was the video game enthusiast from the film he did when, when during two lightning blasts he said hadouken and and when it was over when they finished off the demons he said in the um announcer voice fatality and um yeah um yeah i love the use of ramones i don't want to grow up and this film was downright hilarious with my favorite joke being at the beginning where they're talking about um where they're trying to come up with a name for um shazam because he can't say his name or else he'll turn back into a kid and which comes up with the name thundercracker and you know, shazam replies no that's a butt thing no that's a butt thing and then um then uh, did he did he say something about cheese he said no that's a philadelphia thing something like that and um and then at the end when um darla darla she during, when, when she when she when she transformed to her adult superhero so she sees the fake santa and says i've been really good and, and gives the santa her list and stuff then at the end where when they're in the lair she's um billy billy and freddie come to the conclusion that we finally have a lair and she's like what's a lair what's a lair like it was just down it's film was down right um film was down right hilarious i also love the family humor this film 
the camera thing in this film, how realistic this was. Billy was an asshole in this film. There were several scenes where Billy, and even, there were several scenes where Billy pissed me off, but that's how Billy Paxton was in the comic books. And this is exactly, this is exactly what happened if a superhero, if a kid got superpowers, man. He wouldn't automatically do the right thing. He'd be an asshole, he'd be an asshole. So I like how realistic it was. And, and I love the family thing. Finally, a film about a foster family that's actually positive. Positive. Unlike um, what we see in the news and in other films. I like, I, um, like I said, this was a great family film, man. This was a great, um, this was a great, um, this was a great family film right here. And I love the setup at the end where it tees, um, the return of the deadly sins and, um, hold on, let me pause this game and see, yeah, oh yeah, and the, um, the, 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 um, the, the, the caterpillar, Matt, Mr. Mind, Mr. Mind, who is, um, the leader, um, of an organization called the Monster Society of, um, the Monster Society of Evil, which is a, um, super villain, superhero team meant to battle, meant to battle, um, um, Shazam's family. This is where the villainous anti-hero Black Adam will appear in a future um sequel. That's what I want to see. An entire family. Yeah. So yeah. Um. Yeah. Like I said, this was my review of um Shazam. Like I said, didn't have much to say about it. Didn't have much to say about it other than the story and characters and how much I liked it. Might do this again later i'm definitely going to do a video review in the future but yeah so um shazam i'm done for now if you don't want to hear the music turn the turn the um computer off right now but for now i'm finished i'll see you guys later